Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how easy it is to get started with Family Book Creator. Because it is a plugin for Family Tree Maker, you do have to have Family Tree Maker open first. So open your tree, go up to the Tools menu, then down to Plugins, Export with Plugin, and Family Book Creator. Now we're going to leave almost everything on its default setting except for this part. So the default is for all generations. Uh, that would take a very long time to create. I have a lot of people in my tree. So while you are testing, I really recommend you change it to one generation. And this will help you get a better sense of how Family Book Creator works um, a very efficient way. But everything else we can leave as is. We're going to hit Create Document. Family Book Creator will suggest a name for my book and, I, and where to save it. And I'll say yes. It warns me if I've already got a document with that name. All right, I skipped ahead a little. It probably took about two minutes for Family Book Creator to generate this document. But as you can see, it's here in PDF format. So Family Book Creator automatically creates a title page for you, a nice spot for quotes. It generates a forward, an introduction, and a table of contents for you. So uh, this is one of my favorite parts of Family Book Creator books is this beautiful family chart with all the photos in it. Um, this saves you so much time and it's just a wonderful way to ground your reader in which chapter they're reading. And here's the type of content that Family Book Creator does for you. It takes your facts from the tree and turns them into a story for you, including citations. And that's really as simple as it is. Um, the big thing I always change is that I don't create a PDF document because usually there's at least one edit I would like to make. So if you would like to do that as well, you can go back to Family Book Creator and under the Preferences workspace, look for the General tab under Document Creation. And right here where it says File Format, you're going to want to change it to Word. And just as before, we click Create Document, choose where to save it. And here we see the exact same book created and now in a Word document format that we will be able to edit if we'd like. So here's that same family tree and the same text, but we are able to make any changes that we think would be helpful. That's as simple as it is. Uh, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you would like to hear more or see more details, please check out RebeccaShamlin.com and look for my book, Leaving a Legacy. Turn your family tree into a family book. Thank you.